how to know if you have scabies. And 7 natural treatments that work fast. What do scabies bites look like? There are several indicators on how to know if you have scabies. The first sign is intense itching on the affected area. Afterward, rashes form and they may appear like tiny blisters. In addition, you may get mite tunnels, which occur when female mites burrow under your skin to lay eggs. These appear as fine, silvery lines on your skin that are around 2 to 20 millimeters long. Is it possible to get mild scabies only? Based on how the mites affect the human skin, scabies almost always end up becoming full-blown once they burrow. After several weeks during the incubation period, rashes form where the mites have decided to lay eggs. The condition can worsen if you scratch your rashes, which can allow staph bacteria to enter the wounds, causing a secondary infection. In severe cases, scabies can progress into a condition called crusted scabies, wherein thousands or millions of mites live on the surface of your skin. Can you see scabies mites right away? There's practically no way to identify scabies through a normal visual inspection. Most mites are only less than half a millimeter long, and the body typically carries 10 to 15 mites at a time only. To look for mites effectively, you need to use a microscope. What's the difference between scabies and bed bugs? At first, it's easy to confuse scabies bites with bed bugs bites, because both are essentially caused by tiny insects. They also produce similar symptoms, which are rashes, swollen patches on the bite areas and itchiness. The main difference is that bed bugs simply bite on your skin, suck up your blood and retreat to their hiding places. Scabies mites, on the other hand, burrow into your skin and use it as their actual home. What is the incubation period of scabies? The incubation period of scabies varies, but it usually takes anywhere between 2 and 6 weeks. If you notice itchy rashes starting to form, get help right away to check if they are caused by scabies. It's possible that they are caused by a different skin disease. In essence, it's important to have any rashes checked immediately to undergo the correct treatment. Can scabies kill you? Scabies itself isn't known to be fatal, but it can be an indirect cause of fatality. If the scabies rashes are scratched and become infected with staph bacteria, you can get systemic sepsis, which is a bacterial infection of your bloodstream. Sepsis can cause serious complications to your internal organs if left untreated. Does bleach kill scabies? Some people recommend using bleach, and claim that it is effective. However, there's very little scientific evidence to support this. In addition, bleach is incredibly corrosive and can actually harm your skin. Home Remedies for Scabies Cayenne Pepper Cayenne pepper benefits those with scabies, because it can be used to alleviate pain associated with scabies. Cayenne contains capsaicin, a chemical that reduces pain sensations when applied to the skin. One way to use cayenne is to add one cup to hot bath water, sit in the bath until the water gets cold, and then rinse your body. Make sure that the cayenne does not get into your eyes, as it may burn or sting. You can also create a paste with cayenne, and one to two drops of water. Apply the paste to visible burrows beneath the surface of the skin. Tiger Balm Tiger Balm is a topical cream used to reduce inflammation, and provide relief from muscle aches and pain. It works as an analgesic agent, because it contains camphor and clove oil. Tiger Balm won't kill the itch mites, or cure the scabies infestation, but it will provide some relief during the waiting period after conventional treatment. Aniseed Oil According to a scientific review published in Herbal Medicine, Biomolecular and Clinical Aspects, oil extracted from aniseeds display insecticidal activity. It can be used topically to treat scabies as well as head lice. It's not recommended that women who are pregnant use anise oil, however, the book recommends. Neem Oil Neem oil is known to kill scabies mites, and it prevents their ability to grow and breed. Neem also numbs pain and relieves itching, making it perfect to treat scabies symptoms as well. Clove Oil Clove oil has analgesic, antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. It can be used to dry up scabies blisters and rashes. Combine 10 drops of clove oil with 1 teaspoon of honey, and 1 teaspoon of coconut oil for skin relief. 
rub it onto the area of concern twice daily. Rosemary Oil Rosemary oil uses and benefits include the potential power to stop the infestation of scabies. Rosemary oil also decreases pain and prevents the development of secondary infections. Tea Tree Oil Tea tree oil fights scabies mites and parasites when applied topically. It contains terpenoids, which are antimicrobial constituents that are able to heal scabies on top of and beneath the skin.